I'm Golden Star. I'm Alfred Elias. And we're a special occasions photo booth from Stockton, California. In this video, we're gonna tell you three things we wish we knew before we started our photo booth business. Number one is it's work. Don't think that you're just gonna get a photo booth, you're gonna put it on your Google and people are gonna call you because that's what I thought. That's not the case. You have to put in work. You have to let people know special occasions photo booth exists and why should they choose your company over the other ones. So, how come it took a whole month to get a customer? What were you doing wrong and what did you change? We didn't post. We didn't put any pictures out. We didn't post on Google or social media. We didn't even do cold calls, which Josh always tells you, do call people up, let people know, find some venues to work with, do a free event. We didn't do any of that until a month later. When we started doing that, that's when the calls started coming in. Who was your first client? Uh, a baptism from Miss Maria. Um, it, it was, How did she find you? She found us on Google. Once we got on Google, I think we were the third one on there and we got it. And do you remember how much you were charging at first? Oh my gosh, so cheap. When I look at my prices, I'm like, what were we thinking? We were charging 500 for three hours. Now we charge 900 for three hours as we grew in experience, as we grew with our props and how we communicate with our customers. We're no longer 500. <laughs> Got it. So you do have to put a lot of legwork in there. You do. You can, definitely cannot sit down and just do nothing. Unless you don't want to be busy. And then. All right. So what you just told me, you did this and that, this and that. That's overwhelming. Especially for someone who doesn't have a lot of entrepreneur experience. Let's say somebody out there who's not getting business. They have one photo booth. Not a lot of props, backdrops, or experience. How can they get business right away, in your opinion? First, network with other photo booths. Don't be scared, don't think that they're gonna take all your customers or you're gonna take all their customers. Network, because when you network, you'll get referrals from other photo booths who are so busy, they can give you referrals. That's the number one. When you do do events, network with the DJs, with the caterers, with the event planners. Start posting your events on Facebook, social media. TikTok's a, is a huge one right now. Number two, know your equipment. You can't just set your photo booth up and think like, oh my God, it's gonna run perfect. No, it runs on a very expensive DSL camera. So if you don't know shutter speed, iOS, you're, you're gonna have so many problems because you're doing events inside, outside, it's dark, it's light. You have to adjust your camera. So if you don't know anything about your camera, you're gonna have a lot of problems and a lot of headache. Also, your software. Are you using darkroom booth? Are you using spark booth? What software you know are you using? You have to know it. You just can't, again, set it up press a button and oh my god it's gonna work perfectly no it takes work go YouTube it go on PBI they have so many videos on how to use the software so someone gets their photo booth how do they gain that experience with events or they should do some mock events like you know in the room or how could they learn definitely do free events do some free events for your family do some free events for the community that way you could do events in your house, but they're different when you're around people, when you have that extra stress. And of course, the lighting's different outside from your house. So definitely do practice, 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 practice. Not just hands-on practice. You need to read and research what your, pro your, your, your troubleshootings are. All right, and hey, can you guys tell me about one of your biggest stresses at an event? Do you have one? Yes, when our camera turns off. For some reason, there's lots of reasons our camera turns off. One time we learned our USB did not have enough memory. So our photo booth kept shutting down. We didn't know until we pulled it out. And guess what, it started working. Another time was when our, it was on autofocus and our camera kept hitting the screen, the, the glass. It would shut down the photo booth. Another one was when our camera just becomes disconnected just because it just doesn't want, it wants to take a break. So those are all things we had to learn. It was doing the same problem, shutting the, the booth down, but figuring out which of those three or what is the new thing happening. And when something goes wrong, what do you do? Of course, not stress about it. I scream and I cry. No, um, I turned to this guy and I said, baby, what's going on? I need help. And we breathe and we're like, let's figure it out together. Because stressing yourself out makes you look bad. And most of it doesn't make you look professional because who wants to hire someone that doesn't know what they're doing? Stay calm. Only you know what's going on. Your client does not know what's going on. Stay calm and relaxed and focus. 
get on your Facebook. The PBI family has a great community called Paul or Richard. They're great with um, tech if it's during Monday through Friday during office hours. Stay calm and relaxed and we'll get through it together. And last but not least, number three. Don't get discouraged if something happens, uh, if fail happens during your event, if your camera goes down, if your printer doesn't work, just reach out to somebody from PBI, ask them questions. I'm sure somebody out there is willing to help you out at all times. They'll get you through it. You'll get your event back running again and it should go smoothly after that. What, what about someone who's not getting business? You know, and they wanna quit. What advice do you have for them? There's so many events out there. Don't give up. What are, look what other people are doing. Go follow Photo Booth Boss Innocent Malik. Go follow what he's doing. Follow other uh, su successful photo booth companies. Like I said, there's so many events out there. What, look at what you're doing and what you're not doing. Are you posting on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, or are you just sitting home doing nothing? So how should someone start a photo booth business? One machine, several machines, a lot of props. I would say start off with one. Start off with one. PBI has an amazing one, I would think for beginners, would be the Chloe. It doesn't take two people, one person can do it. I've actually seen some of the PBI family, they have a 13 year olds, 14 year olds that are having their own Chloe's. So I would definitely recommend going through PBI and getting a Chloe booth. So simple, really easy to work with, lightweight. It is great for digital, not too much maintenance. And there you have it. Those are three things we wish we knew when we first started out. Let me know if you have any tips in the comments below. And if you wanna follow us on our journey and book a photo booth, in the Stockton area. Or surrounding areas. Mm -hmm. Follow us at Special Occasions Photo Booth. On Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. Capturing your memories. One, one photo, photo at, at a time. time.